Hello, this is William from Visual Components, and this video will be a walkthrough of setting up an ActiveX control in the 3D software. So right now I'm using Microsoft Visual Studio 2012 Professional, and I'm running it as an administrator. I'm also going to be using Visual C Sharp, and I'm going to create a class library project. So I'll go and click OK to continue on. What you want to do now is go ahead and add a user control and reference to use. So I'll go to class library one here, right click, add user control. Go and click add. I can now add the reference. So I'll go and right click class library one, add the reference. And from here you want to scroll on down to find the visual components 3D create type library. So it'll be this one right here. Click OK. I can now go ahead and add some controls. So I'll go and add a text box and a button. So now I can use this button to execute a command such as printing hello world in a text box area. So I'll go ahead and double click the button. And I can now define the libraries I'm using. So I'm using VC 3D Create, using VC Com, and using System Runtime interrupt services. I can now go ahead and assign a product ID that I can reference in the 3D software. So let's go ahead and get some brackets. And product ID. And the name we want to call it, let's go ahead and call it the name of the project. So class library one. Move my cursor out of the way so you can see it. And those user controls. So user control one. And one thing to mention is make sure you have these double quotes. All right, I'm now going to go ahead and implement an IVC client. So go over here to the public partial class, and from user control, comma, IVC client. All right, and now we want to implement this interface. So I'll go right here, and select implement interface. I'm now going to go ahead and define some variables. So I'll go right here, and I'll say IVC application. app and IVC client is client. I'm now going to go ahead and create a new client to reference by the application. So go here to initialize component and from there I'll type in app equals IVC application and I'll use a new constructor new VCC 3D create parentheses and semicolon. And I'll say the client is equal to this. And then I'll do app dot add the client. And I'm going to refer to the client variable. I can now define what my controls will do. So when my button is clicked, I'll go and display some text in text box one. And I'll display hello world. And I'll go ahead and execute another command. So I'll first get a handle for the command. So IVC command, I'll name the variable CMD, and I'll use the application to get a command. And I'll go ahead and use the fill view command. So everything in the layout will be displayed within the camera's view. And I'll execute that, like so. I can now name the tab where these controls will be listed in the 3D software. So right here for application name, Go and clear this out, and I'll go ahead and return active X controls, like so. I can now go ahead and comment out these other lines of code to not throw any exceptions, but you can add things if you want to. Now, when you get to query context menu, you want to return a true value, so I'll go ahead and delete this out. And let's go ahead and return true, like so. You can now modify the project's properties as needed. So go up to the menu item project, and select your properties. And what you want to do first is go to assembly information and make sure your assembly com is visible. Next, go to build. And here you can define the platform target you want. 
but also make sure you register for COM interop. For your debugging, you can go ahead and start the 3D software if you want. So I'll go and get the desktop shortcut here for 3D create. I can now build the solution. So I'll go ahead and go to my build. I can now rebuild just in case. The last step is to define what 3D product will use your controls. I'm opening 3D create, so that's going to be the product I'm going to use. So I'll first get the product ID I created here in user control.cs. So class library user control one. Go ahead and copy this. And I'll now access 3D Create's program files, which I have open down here. And you want to open this any file for the software. And go ahead and create a new tab for your controls. So I'll name it tab panel 5 equals that product ID. I'll now go ahead and save this. And everything is good to go. You can now go ahead and run your project. Now you might come across a problem when saving the any file your first time. If you do, go ahead and save the any file or any changes you make to it to your desktop and then simply copy and replace it in the program files. Alright, 3D Create has been open. You can notice here I have my ActiveX Controls tab. I'll go and add a component to the 3D world. I'll now test my controls. So I'll click the button. You can notice Hello World is printed in the text box and the view of the 3D world is filled to display the advanced feeder. Alright, that concludes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our community at community.visualcomponents.net. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day.